container account is the most prominent accounting nowadays. Uh, the packaging and containers act as a silent salesman uh, for the modern marketing so that uh, people, uh, the customers are interested in the better packages so that the producers are more, uh, more emphasis on uh, distributing goods in good containers, good quality containers so that uh, the manufacturers or producers spend a huge amount of for containers. So the con there is a uh, there is a need for uh, containers should be accounted so that uh, the containers cost would affect their profit and loss position. So uh, there is this new accounting scenario which has emerged, uh, which is called containers account. Containers may be returnable and non-returnable containers. Returnable containers means after uh, the usage of the product, the customers are able to return back the containers. Non-returnable containers are not returned by the containers. The customers are uh, kept by the containers after the usage of the product. They may use some other purpose. So the container accounting giving prominence to the returnable containers account. Returnable containers are those containers which are returned by the customers after the usage of the product. So returnable containers sometimes the manufacturer may give the product uh, uh, in, a, in a price uh, and uh, the manufacturer have given an opportunity to return back the containers. So uh, when the manufacturer have sent the product within the container to the customers, they are charging a price and the customers are refund or return uh, within a sufficient time also they will be refunded some amount. So uh, the prices are different. So there are three important prices in containers account which consist of cost price, charge out or bill price and returnable price. The cost price is the price at which the seller purchases the containers and the charge out or bill price it is a price charged to the customers on sending the goods in containers. And the another price is returnable price it is an amount refunded or credited to the customers when the containers are returned within a stipulated period of time. So these three prices are very important in containers account. Some uh, packages, I mean, some containers are uh, reported in the cost price and some containers are reported in the charge out bill price and some containers are reported in the returnable price. So accounting of containers consisting of uh, reporting of containers which uh, use these kind of prices, cost price, bill out price, charge out price and returnable price. So this charge out price is a price charged to the customers on sending the goods in containers and returnable price means some returnable containers means some, the customers are allowed for sufficient time to refund the containers, return the containers. If the customer have uh, refund the containers within a sufficient period of time, they are given some amount. So that is called returnable price. Containers trading account is a prominent account uh, and it is prepared at the time of uh, containers accounting and containers trading account is a nominal account which is prepared to find out the profit or loss in respect of containers sent during the year and the nominal account shows the debits and credit side. Debit side of the containers account the first item is opening stock of containers with the customers as well as opening stock of containers with the business. So this is this opening stock is recorded at cost price and of course the container shall be purchased by the manufacturer year by year. So a particular year if a purchase of container shall be made that purchase price uh, is recorded uh, for that purchase of containers and the container sent to customers and this provision should be created every year if uh, some containers are sent to customers always delivery of the goods while through the delivery of the goods. And this is uh, recorded uh, at returnable price and this is a provision. Of course, the goods are sent to customers, I mean the containers are sent to customers and it is shows, uh, it is, uh, shows in the credit side of the trading account in the purchase price but at the same time a debit side a provision shall be created. If there is, there is an assumption that the customers are returned the containers at sufficient time. So that we should create a provision. That provision is called as containers sent to customers and it is recorded at returnable price but without mentioning the number in containers trading account. And the credit side of the containers account shows containers sent to customers is already discussed and 
in debit side it's a provision and credit side it's actual amount and it is uh, the unit uh, it's not mentioned but the amount uh, of uh, goods sent to customers uh, are recorded at charge out price and another item is containers destroyed by fire or other uh, theft or abnormal reason shall be recorded in the credit side at cost price and if there is cash realized from the sale of scrap uh, when the useful life of the containers are over the manufacturer try to sell uh, in scrap value and the scrap value is recorded in the credit side of the containers account and there is important item containers returned by customers it's also a provision the, cu the customers are allowed to return the containers in a sufficient time but some customers are not able to refund or return the containers at the correct time that containers are called as containers returned by customers that containers are not at return by the customers but the time has been reached to return back the containers but they haven't returned the containers that containers are recorded in the credit side of the containers account at the return price and the and the, and the last item is the closing stock of containers in hand as well as with the customers and it is also recorded in the cost price the difference between the debit side and credit side is called profit or loss from the containers account this is the format of containers trading account and the containers trading account uh, the theoretical part we have already discussed and the containers trading account shows the debits and credit side debit side shows the containers stock opening stock in hand with the customers and it is uh, it is shown in the cost price and the bank purchase of containers made during the year it is it is recorded at the purchase price and the containers provision Containers provision shall be created for returnable price. Whatever containers are sent to customers that are recorded in the credit side as purchase charge out price. That is COP means charge out price. And the same container, same number of containers. But these two items, numbers are uh, not recorded. And just uh, record uh, the price and the total amount. The total custom, I mean, containers sent it to customers, and uh, same time the provision shall be created at the returnable price. So uh, after that, uh, the maintenance, if there is any maintenance cost, that should be debited. Uh, and the credit side, goods, I mean, containers sent it to customers that is recorded in the charge out price or bill price, and the units should not be shown. And the profit or loss account, any loss by fire shall be recorded here at cost price and scrap value shall be recorded in the scrap value price. And this is very important containers provision. Uh, uh, some customers are not able to uh, return back the containers at sufficient time. Uh, that means the containers returned by customers and their time has been reached and they haven't returned the containers. So that it is customer containers returned by customers and it is also recorded in the returnable price and the last one the closing stock of containers with the customers and in hand uh, the basic purpose of containers trading account is to understand the profit and loss from the containers account so the last one of course the closing stock of containers with the customers as well as in hand the balance will be profit and loss account if the debit side any balance will be profit and credit side it's a loss that is based on the accounting rule here one question can uh, we can discuss a case with opening stock in hand with the scrap a sadhya limited supply coconut pudding to customers in 10 liter trays the trays are billed at rupees 30 each to the customers who get a credit of rupees 20 if returned within one month the 30 rupees is called uh, bill out bill price and the 20 is returnable price the following details relate to the company for the year at the 31st march 2014 uh, and uh, number of trays, uh, stock in hand, opening stock of uh, trays 2000 and purchase of trays during the year. Purchase price is 15 rupees and 3000 spent for purchase. And trays delivered during the year, this uh, I mean goods sent to customers is 28,000 and trays returned during the year, the customers were returned 25,000 trays. And trays scrapped and sold for rupees 1800 and uh, uh, 900 uh, trays were scrapped and sold and means two rupees per trace trace with the customers with few more days to return 1400 it is a practice to value the stock in closing stock is valued at 10 each this is a question this is the format of uh, 
the trace trading account and uh, the the manufacturer's name is Sadia Limited. They are sending pudding uh, in trays. And the year is 2014. Uh, and opening stock is mentioned in the tab. It's uh, 2,000 units. Uh, opening stock in hand. Opening stock with the ma with the manufacturers. And the 10 rupees is the cost in the total amount 20,000. And the purchases. They were purchased some trays. 3,000 units were purchased, and the rate is 15. Uh, and the total amount is 45,000. And 28,000 trays were sent to customers. That is shown in the credit side. The first item. And 28,000 into 30, that is 8,40,000. The same time we can enter the provision of uh, trace provision uh, and 28,000. And if they return uh, return back within a correct time, they will be given 20 rupees. And the bill price is 30 rupees, but the customers uh, return within the within the sufficient time, they will be given 20 rupees. And uh, these 28,000 into 20, that is 5,60,000, we should make as a provision in order to get a correct profit. Uh, and there are some trays were scrapped and 900 uh, units were scrapped and we have sold 900 units into 2 rupees that is 1800 and uh, there is a provision for the trays I'm actually the there are 1600 trays uh, they haven't uh, returned by the customers uh, but the time has been reached but they haven't returned it 1600 uh, and uh, the price is same returnable price and 32,000 and uh, and uh, there is a closing stock with customers 1400 and I will explain this how the closing stock uh, with the customers in hand in the next slide uh, trace uh, stock uh, with the customers closing stock 1400 the stock is that we valued at 10 rupees already is given in the question 1110 and uh, the balance is profit profit is 2,73,800 this is the working out of uh, calculation of uh, I mean uh, the trace retained and the closing stock first one is trace retained number of trace retained by customers and calculation Trace sent 28,000, trace returned 25,000. 28,000 trace were sent to customers. Out of that 25,000, they have returned within sufficient time. And the balance is 3,000. And the final, I mean, the closing period, uh, 1,400 trays are also with the customer. That means these uh, trays are with the customers, but the, the time for the return back to uh, these uh, manufacturers, time for return back these trays to the manufacturer has not been reached. That means they are allowed, they are permitted to keep the trays up to a particular time, but the time has not been reached. That means, uh, but the account books uh, we have to uh, prepare because of the closing period. So that means the trays are with the customers, means closing stock of trays with the customers is 1,400. The remaining balance is the trace written. That means they haven't returned uh, some trays, but the time has been reached. That means 1,600. That is created as a provision. Then the stock of uh, stock in hand and the stock at warehouse opening stock to 2000 and the purchase made during the 3000 is altogether 5000 and 1600 trays they haven't returned but the time has been reached 1600 and 1400 trays are with the customers means uh, closing stock closing stock of uh, trays with the customers. And uh, altogether 3,000, the 3,000 would be deducted from the 5,000, the 2,000 is the trees in hand. But out of this 2,000 trees, 900 trees were scrapped and sold. So the balance of trees is 1,100. This is the fundamental, I mean, fundamental uh, base of uh, containers account. This is what uh, we can prepare the containers trading account. I hope you understand. Thank you.